Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fox Tech. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can fix your Apple Watch messages. So whether you're having trouble with messages not syncing, not sending, or just behaving strangely, there are several tips you can take to resolve this issue. So let's dive into the details and find out what you can do to get the most out of your Apple Watch. At first, it's important to recognize that fixing the Apple Watch messages can mean different things to different people. So based on my experience updating the Apple Watch operating system and the iOS at the same time on your phone will solve most of the issues. For example, I had an issue where my Apple Watch was running on WatchOS 9, even though WatchOS 10 had been available for quite some time. I did not want to up update because of the new way the apps get sorted. But anyways, this caused synchronization problems with my messages. After updating both my Apple Watch and iPhone to the latest versions of their respective operating systems, most of these problems were resolved. And once your devices are updated, the next step is to check the settings in the watch app of your iPhone. Open the watch app, navigate to the message messages section, and you'll see options for mirroring your iPhone settings or using custom settings. If you have it set to mirror your iPhone, try switching to custom settings or vice versa. Sometimes simply changing back and forth can nudge the system and resolve the issue. Your Apple Watch uses the same Apple ID as your iPhone, as you know, which means that many of the settings on your phone will also apply to your watch. So if you're still experiencing issues on don't or don't like how the messages operate on these devices, you can go to the settings app on your iPhone this time and navigate to the messages section and adjust some settings. For example, you might try toggling the send as SMS option on or off, depending on what you want. Although I can't pinpoint your exact problem, playing around with these settings can often help. If none of these solutions work, you might need to take a more drastic step, which is unpairing and then repairing your Apple Watch. This can be an effective way to fix stubborn issues, but be aware that this process will erase all data on your watch. So it's a good idea to back up your data before and proceed if you know what it actually means. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll see you in the future.